Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the complete review of the iQOO 12 after a month of usage. Now I have been using this phone since the day I got it, that's approximately on the official launch day. So it's been a month, I have been through a wedding, a small tour and I've been using this phone throughout that. So I'll give you a complete review of this phone starting off with the design and build. Now when it comes to design, this phone has a few changes. It has a flat sides with this metal shine and you can actually place this phone directly standing. That's additional benefit if you want it. Anyway, the phone's design is actually pretty good. Its weight distribution has been very well managed. The phone, even though it looks like a pretty hefty phone, because of the good weight distribution, feels pretty light to hold. At least it doesn't feel too heavy or one side. As for the back camera design, this phone comes with the new porthole design which definitely looks much different from any other phone out there and it has its own presence. Now the version I have is the legend version which comes with this white back panel with a glossy finish and there's also the alpha color which comes in black. There isn't any major changes between them. iQ11 had a vegan leather finish for the legendary version but this one came with a glass panel so there isn't much difference between both colors. It completely comes down to your personal preference. Overall I really don't have any complaints in terms of design and build. It also has the IP rating so you don't have to worry about that either. Now coming to the display department, this phone comes with a 6.78 inch 1.5K display. It's an AMOLED panel with 144Hz screen refresh rate and it has a peak brightness of 3000 nits and it also has HDR10 plus support. So just like any other flagship out there, it comes with an AMOLED panel, it's the best. Colors obviously looks great, blacks are true blacks, so once again there's no issue. And one thing to note is that this phone also comes with the wet touch technology where even when the display has a few droplets, you can actually use your phone without any issues. Just a quick note, iQOO doesn't use any new display technology, instead they use an AI model to actually track your fingerprints. So that's how the wet technology works and it's actually pretty usable. It also has wideband L1 support so you can obviously watch high definition videos on Amazon Prime, Netflix and so on. Now some people have been asking questions about this display resolution like iQOO 11 had 2K resolution display while the iQOO 12, the new one has just 1.5K resolution. Now I must say that unless you have those eagle eyes where you can see those pixels clearly, it really won't make a large difference. In fact going from 2K display to a 1.5K display actually improves your battery life and overall performance especially when it comes to gaming. So for most people this reduction in resolution is not an issue. In fact I feel that the display is pretty crisp, pretty sharp as well. Now coming to the hardware department, this phone comes with all the basic sensors that you can expect on a flagship phone. Besides that, it also has a pretty good haptic engine, just like the iQ11 and probably slightly better. Uh, you also get an infrared blaster at the top, which you can use to control TV, AC or anything that can be used with an infrared sensor. And I've tested it as well and it works without any issues. You also got NFC on this phone and you can also use it for NFC based payments. You have to just add your credit card or debit card to apps like Google Pay, Cred or your bank applications and then link it with the NFC to just do contactless payments. I've also tested the auto brightness sensor, it works without any issues and the sunlight legibility of this phone is really really good. That 3000 nits of brightness isn't just a rough statement, it is actually practically usable. Now coming to the camera department, this phone comes with a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel primary camera with the largest sensor in the segment, followed by a 50 megapixel wide angle camera and finally a 64 megapixel camera with periscope telephoto lens. Now using this periscope camera, you can go all the way from 3x optical zoom to 10x optical zoom and after that you can even digital zoom up to 100x. I've already posted a dedicated camera review video, so you can check out that video for complete in-depth information and more sample shots. There's also a link for the original pictures, you can also check them out if you interested. Overall cameras on this phone are really really impressive, especially the rear cameras. Like I have taken probably a thousand or two thousand photos in just a span of 10 days. I've told you, I've attended a marriage, I've also went on a tour. So I've taken a lot of photos and I'm really satisfied with the camera performance. It also takes pretty good videos, video stabilization is good and you also get that additional audio enhancement feature which also works pretty decently. As for selfies, I am not a selfie person so I didn't take a lot of them but this phone also comes with a pretty good front facing camera. By the way, we can only record video at 1080p resolution using the front facing camera. Personally, I think that's more than enough, but if you're looking for 4K recording at front camera, well, this phone doesn't have it. Overall cameras are really good. As of right now, this is the only phone that comes with a periscope camera under 50,000 or around 50,000 rupees. So that's another benefit with this phone. Now coming to the software department, this phone comes with a Fun Touch OS 14 based on Android 14 and this is the first phone in India to come with Android 14 right out of the box. And iQOO has also promised 3 years of Android updates and 4 years of security updates and as this phone has come out with Android 14, so this phone will get 
Android 15, 16 and 17 as well. And even after that, you will get an additional year of security updates, which I think is the best in the market right now. Besides that, it's the same old Funtouch OS with a lot of customization options. You got themes, you get fonts, you can change wallpapers. You also got new live wallpapers. Besides all that, the most interesting feature that I found is a sidebar. Now with Funtouch OS 14, we got the sidebar, which allows us to open applications in a floating window. I know this feature was available on other phones, but we just got it with Funtouch OS 14. Anyway, using this feature helps a lot with multitasking. And besides that, if you're watching videos on YouTube in a Chrome browser, you can also play the video in the background. That's an additional feature. Besides that, with Funtouch OS 14, Ico has done a lot in terms of animations. I really can't say if it's the OS or the phone itself, but all the animations look much more smoother and you can see the transitions between all those animations it feels very smooth in all my usage i didn't have any software related issues and so far everything is working pretty fine now when it comes to performance this phone comes with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor which is the latest flagship processor from snapdragon and this one's got it and this is also the first phone in india to come out with the latest snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor besides that it also comes with the latest lpddr5x ram and ufs 4.0 storage so both in terms of cpu performance and memory speeds and storage speeds we get the flagship specs and just like iq 11 had the dedicated v2 chip even iq 12 comes with a dedicated chip and this time iq calls it the supercomputing chip Q1. Now this dedicated chip can definitely enhance your gaming experience and that I can guarantee. More on that later. Now the performance of this phone is as expected. It's pretty good whether it's for normal usage or for gaming. There are no heat issues either. This phone comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM in the base variant and I have the 16 gigabytes variant and the memory management is really good. Like most of the applications are still in memory and when I just open these applications and they are still at the same place where I left them and sometimes it also feels a bit creepy. Overall performance of this phone is top notch and for people who are looking for long term usage like looking to buy a phone to use for 3 to 4 years, this phone can definitely satisfy you. Now coming to gaming performance, once again I have posted a dedicated video, you can check that out for more information but here's the gist. I played PUBG in high graphics settings continuously for 18 minutes and the maximum temperature I have seen is 45 degrees and even at that time phone just felt slightly warm and I could still continue playing the game. And during that time the battery consumed was just 7% which was pretty low. Now unlike other phones this one actually comes with a lot of interesting features that can improve your gaming experience. Well personally I like these features called super resolution which can improve the resolution of the game. Next we have game interpolation which can increase the frame rate of the game and these two features make wonders in games like Genshin Impact. Literally the whole gaming experience improves once you turn on these features. And if you're playing games like PUBG you have features like 4D game vibration, motion control and super touch control which can improve your gaming experience and make it a bit more fun. So once again if you're someone who likes to play games and are looking forward to buying a high-end phone to play your favorite game once again this is going to be a very good choice. Now coming to the audio department this phone doesn't have any audio jack but it does come with dual stereo speakers and they are super loud. We don't have anything like Dolby Atmos, but Ico does come with its own sound engine and it does sound pretty good. Now finally when it comes to the battery department, this is another area that this phone is really impressive. It comes with a 5000mAh battery, just like most of the phones, but it has a newer, better technology. It comes with a 120W fast charging. By the way, I must remind you that fast charging is disabled by default and if you enable it, you can just charge your phone from 0 to 100% under 30 minutes. 26 minutes to be exact. In just 5 minutes, you can get up to 30% of charge. In 15 minutes, you can get 80% of charge and approximately 25 to 26 minutes to completely charge your phone. So charging this phone has never been an issue. And we also got this battery saver feature. You can easily get anywhere from 6 to 8 hours of battery life without any issues. Besides that, you can also set up a trigger on your phone like when your battery percentage goes below 20%, battery saver turns on automatically. Now this particular feature works really well once again. And even when the battery saver is turned on, I didn't notice any major drop in performance. Now that's definitely another impressive thing. Now coming to the bad part, whenever your battery is low, like normally on other phones, whenever your battery is low, like 10% or 15%, you do get a notification. And whenever it is too low, you also get another notification or something like an emergency message. But there isn't anything like that on this phone. There have been times like when my phone's battery was so low that phone completely switched off. So I wish Vivo could add a feature to, you know, remind me to charge a phone immediately. 
So in the battery department, that's the only thing that I dislike and it can be fixed with a third party application or we could just add a feature. Besides that, I really didn't have any issues. So guys, to conclude, iQOO 12 is definitely the best flagship phone that you can buy in 2024, at least till the end when iQOO 13 probably comes out. Right now, this is the only phone in the Indian market that has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, especially at the starting price of 50,000 rupees, including the discounts and all. So if you're looking for a phone with the flagship specifications or a phone with gaming features, then iQOO 12 is going to be your number one choice. Personally, I like this phone and I would definitely recommend it to my friends and family as well. So guys, that's all for this video. If you have any more questions, do comment below this video or any of our latest videos and we'll get back to you immediately. And thanks for watching the video till the end. It means a lot to us. See you next time.